Hello and welcome to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Note that I didn't say let's play, because this isn't really going to be a normal let's play. I might still call the video that, but that's besides the point. Because obviously I have played Mass Effect before. So um, I'm not entirely sure how much of this I'm going to record. Um, I have not played this game yet. I just installed it and made sure it worked, and that's it. Um, but I kind of want to, you know, share my first thoughts with you as I play this, and uh, share some of my thoughts on Mass Effect as a whole, where it is now, um, how I've come to view the trilogy as a whole. My opinion has kind of changed since uh, back when I originally played it. Don't get me wrong, I still love all three games. But it has kind of uh, changed a little bit. And we'll get into that um, at some point. So I just kind of want to, you know, reminisce and talk about Mass Effect, because I haven't done that in a while. I have not played this game in quite a few years. I played it a few times after uh, uh, the recording of the Let's Play, but I haven't played it in a while, so I probably won't remember everything. So this is almost a blind Let's Play, except that I probably know this game better than any other game except for Myst and Riven. Um, I also didn't write my opening spiel, which I normally do. That's why I'm rambling. Basically what I'm saying is, um, if you're not familiar with Mass Effect, uh, if you have never played it and you have nev not watched my original Let's Play, then this isn't what you want to watch. If you want my normal, thorough, in-depth, explains and looks at everything style of Let's Play, you're going to want to watch my original Let's Play Mass Effect of the non-remastered version. I'll put a card up if I remember. Um, uh, but you don't want to watch this because there's going to be spoilers. There's going to be uh, spoilers for the whole trilogy, basically, right from the start. Um, there's going to be uh, much more opinion. It's not going to be as in-depth. So it's going to be different. Um, I hope some of you will like it and will be interested in watching it. So, let's see, we got this new fancy launcher here, where we can launch all three games. We're going to start at the beginning. Like I said, I don't really know how much of this... Uh, do I have, to, I have to actually click start? I thought clicking on the thing would work. Um, like I said, I don't really know how much of this I'm going to record. I'm going to do this one video anyway. Uh, maybe I'll do more, maybe I'll do the whole game if I feel like it. I don't know. I will probably not do Mass Effect 2 and 3, because I don't want to turn this into another year-long project. It still has the splash screen, even though we're launching it through the launcher, which is kind of funny. Alright, um... Still copyright 2007, they didn't update that. They did update the background, which looks a lot more detailed. I do not have a 4K monitor, I have a... Uh, 1440p monitor, which is also what I'm recording this in, so that is four times the pixels of my original Let's Play, which was in 720p. Count them. I know you won't. Um, same music, though. I absolutely adore the music of Max Mass Effect. Just immediately puts me in that mood, you know. Especially the this particular piece. Vigil's theme. And Rex. It's like I'm seeing all my old friends, kind of. I'm honestly more excited about playing this again than I am about the Mass Effect 5 or 4, depending on whether or not they're counting Andromeda as a numbered one. Which was also announced. Um, because, you know, Andromeda wasn't very good, so. Alright, we're gonna start a new career from the beginning. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. If I talk too much, it's entirely because I'm excited about this. Requested. And because I always do that. You should know that if you watch my videos. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. This um, looks pretty much the same. A little bit sharper, maybe. I think I don't think I've ever played this game on this monitor with the... 1440p. In fact, last time I played it was on an Xbox, so that was even worse. Um, 
all right, we're gonna customize, and because it want to be different than my original Let's Play, I'm gonna do Femship. Give Jennifer Hill something to do. That's her voice actress, in case you don't know. Please log in to access your profile. Um, names. I haven't really thought about this. I had a plan for my uh, original Let's Play. Of course, I called him Yuri. So if I wanted to be consistent, I should call her Valentina, I guess, after Valentina Tereshkova, the first woman in space. Um, let's... I'm gonna call her Emily, because that's my wife. Profile reconstruction complete. Oh, no. Please log in to access your I did profile. not mean quick start. Please log in to access your profile. Only the name was good. Warning. Data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. And that's what happens at the DMV when they lose the information about your license. Then you can just change your appearance before you take a new picture. All right. Um, I believe in the original Let's Play I chose Colonist. Mainly because I liked that uh, side quest. Uh, Spacer's kind of nice. Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. Um, I don't really think I want to do Earthborn, because it, it feels like it fits Renegade Shepard a little bit more, and I, I, yeah, I'm going to do another Paragon Let's Play. I just don't like Renegade, so... Uh, even though I want to be different than my original, it's still going to be... Mostly the same choices. Um, this this backstory reads like Amos Burton's backstory from the Expanse. Like, did she grow up in uh, Baltimore? Anyway, we're gonna go with Spacer. Confirm psychological profile. I think that's the easiest side quest to miss. The Spacer cu uh, custom quest. Let's see if I remember where to find it. Um, all right, uh, psychological profile, I went with War Hero originally, Ruthless again fits Renegade Shepard better, so I'm gonna go with Soul Survivor. During your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. I, I completely read that sentence wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome psych uh, physical torments. I'm too excited to do this, honestly and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you alone are left to tell the tale. Confirm military specialization. Okay, um, originally I was an engineer, of course, which is because, you know, I'm an engineer by trait, even if it is a software engineer. Almost the same thing, right? No, not really. Um, and that's because I did, uh, that's what I chose on my first, very first playthrough, because I had no idea what any of this meant. I have played as pretty much every class since then, I mean, especially in the multiplayer, in Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, I've played as everything. I've done single player playthroughs of mostly everything. I think I've never played as Adept, so let's do that. Adepts are biotic specialists. Through upgradable implants, they can use biotic powers to lift or throw objects. Shield the quad, shield the squad, um, shield the quad too if you're a, Qu a Krogan, and disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only wear light armor, and they specialize in pistols. Confirm facial identification. They brought the uh, Mass Effect Three facial appearance into Mass Effect One, which looks better than the original default Femchev, that's for sure. But I think I am still going to customize this. Alright, I'm gonna mess around with this until I get something I like. I'll just pick a preset. Now nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna customize this and I will cut this out, so I'll be back. Alright, there we go. 
That looks kind of nice, I think. It looks in nice in the editor anyway. Sometimes you, it looks horrible in the actual game. Already see some of these higher resolution textures at work here. Um, kind of, sort of, similar, but nothing like my wife. Anyway, um, just like Yuri Shepard looked kind of, sort of, similar, but nothing like me. Um, and I don't even have to show you all the sliders to recreate it, because now Mass Effect 1 has facial codes. If you want to look like this Shepard, you can just take this code, and um, you'll, you'll have to type it, I guess. I guess I could put it in the description, if I remember. Profile reconstruction complete. Alright, I think that'll do. Emily Shepard, a spacer, soul survivor, and adept. You will be unable to change any settings. In later games you can change your appearance, but not in this one. I guess they did not change that. Identification confirmed. All right, what are we doing? Oh, Insanity starts out unlocked on this one. I'm not going to play Insanity. I have played Insanity. I don't feel the need to do it again, especially not in this game. I'll talk a little bit about that later. Uh, I'm going to play Veteran. I already went into the options menu and customized this, actually, so it's all on the se on the settings I want. Um, Because, I, I mean, I haven't played this in a while. I might suck, but... <laughs> Veteran is kind of the sweet spot between not too easy and not annoying, because in this game, when you raise the difficulty, enemies basically just become bullet sponges, and it takes a long time. Um, so we'll do Veteran. We don't want auto level up, of course. I don't know what this is. In classic mode, the original one, the 60 level range will be used instead of the new one, the 30 level range. XP and telepoints progression remains the same, but the number of levels is doubled. I'm assuming that means that... In legendary mode, you get more points per level because there's fewer levels, so you just have to don't have to level up as often, but you still get all the same amount of, of stuff. Otherwise, that would be kind of uh, weird. I'm also not sure um, how this is going to affect like the like I think you can't buy uh, level ten Spectre weapons until you hit level. Uh, 50 in the original so but we're gonna we're gonna do level one to do the new thing level one to 30 see how it works quad power always it's none in the original I had them use their powers but since I'm better at the game I prefer to do it themselves they keep saying I'm better which is setting me up for failure uh, subtitles auto save which hopefully is improved and tutorials because things might be different Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call.
approach run has begun. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Never change, Joker. Why does your hair look like black in this? L Maybe it's the lighting. It's supposed to be more like platinum blonde. Yeah, I know how to use the conversation wheel. Um. And they don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Press escape and open the journal to view your updated mission objectives. In the original I could press J, in this one I can do that too. It just didn't feel like telling me. Alright, yeah, we're on the Normandy. Our mission is to speak to the captain. This is all very similar. I got a bunch of stuff already. Wait, what was that noise? I don't know. This looks good, I have to say. Textures are way better. It's very sharp and crisp. And despite my worries about the lighting in from some of the trailers, at least the Normandy is still pretty dark. Not so flat as some of the trailer images made it seem. And yeah, I didn't read the, the intro text, which you know I normally would, but I just kind of wanted to enjoy that intro and the music, and it just gives me chills. There's only a few franchises where I really feel like, you know, I've come home when I rewatch the, the beginning. Like if I watch the first episode of Buffy or uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, even though that is not even a good episode, but Encounter at Farpoint. And, um,. Mass Effect is definitely like that, like, I feel like I spent so much time here, it is just part of my life, <laughs> almost, in some ways. Oh. Um. Can still draw your weapon here, UI is a bit different, as I was expecting. Um, I forget how you put it away. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. How do I put my gun away? That's melee. That's nothing. There, okay. No, X is switch weapon. Huddle up! These seem to be commands. Um, I'm gonna check in the options, because I do not want to... Maybe I'll put it, put it away when I talk to someone. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. 
It's uh, Lieutenant Barkley, or, you know, Navigator Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. The uh, lip sync is janky as always. Probably even more noticeable with the higher, the more detailed character models. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Yeah, I'm sure there's nothing else going on. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. You're wrong, like we know. And actually, we know he's right. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. You know, I, I'm still waiting for them to show Captain Anderson wearing all his medals because that would be uh, impressive sight. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I always liked how you're able to... Uh change uh, Presley's mind about aliens, if you're Paragon yourself. See, I told you there'd be spoilers. Also, I might skip some of the dialogue at some point if it's stuff I'm not interested in hearing, but then again, I kind of always say that when I, to myself, when I uh, play Mass Effect, then, then I never do. The only thing that I do skip if I play this game is the uh, well, not this game, if, in Mass Effect 2, if I tend to not talk to Zaid in between missions because his stories are just not very interesting to me. Sorry, I'm just looking at these gorgeous textures. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. Captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Well, um, in this particular case, she's actually wrong, I guess. Because she won't be patching up Corporal Jenkins in the, um, uh, in infirmary. I can promise her that much. Richard L. Jenkins. We all know what the L stands for, of course. Only a fool goes to 
was looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. Um, I think you might. This is one of the pieces of dialogue that's slightly different because I have a different background. Shadows are, I mean, they're better, but they're still not awesome. That hairline shadow there is a bit uh, janky. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Ah, uh, good old RPG logic. Commander Shepard. Hero of the universe, who knows nothing about anything. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. I try not to think about a coos. Sorry, Commander. I, I didn't mean to offend you. I. I respect what you did there. We all do. Let's not dwell on the past, Commander. Was there something else you needed? How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those C-Sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. <laughs> I just love that, despite, you know, Dr. Chakwas's reaction, what Jenkins is saying here is basically the plot of this game. <laughs> You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Well, you'll get your wish soon enough, I guess. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Um, I did actually, before starting the recording, I did uh, turn off film grain, in case you're wondering, because um, I hate film grain. Plus, I haven't actually looked at what it looks like in this game. I don't know how well this is gonna show up on the on the video, but uh, yeah, I still hate it. Plus, you gotta want to enjoy all those 4K textures and whatever. Normandy.
Yes, Commander, is there something you need? Yeah, Shaq was supposed to the same conversation. That's what I thought. I, I didn't know for sure anymore. All right, let's go meet Nihilus. I keep wanting to click to uh, to talk. They did actually change the. Oh, it just starts. Okay. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Uh, this has always kind of confused me because Joker was talking to Captain Anderson, who said Nihilus was already here. But now Captain Anderson is, in fact, not here. Maybe he went to the bathroom. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? I'm excited to see Garrus, because his face was all messed up in the original version because of some level of detail uh, bug. Should be much better now. Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. You can say I knew it, but it was really Joker who said that. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Dramatic music change. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. All right. At least this was kind of worded like... Um, Shepard at least knew who the Prophians were, so that's good, I guess. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Like hell he is. In this game, you're just kind of sort of a jerk if you're Renegade. It's really in Mass Effect 2 and 3 where you... where it turns to more evil. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Did the original have depth of field? This one obviously does. I don't remember. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Nihilus is okay in my book. Too bad we don't get to see more of him. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. 
Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Yes, the Protheans. It was definitely them. Not somebody else. I also am not entirely sure how Captain Anderson heard about this in school, because uh, humanity's only been in, like, out of the solar system for, like, 30 years in this? So... I doubt we that, you know, the Protheans were taught about when Captain Anderson was in school, unless he's a lot younger than he appears. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Sure. I, I'm sure it'll be very low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Sovereign! Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly, without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. I... Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. I vote for overwhelming force instead. Can we do that? No? Just three people? Okay. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? 
I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. All right. There we are. Nice. Made it. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. H to put it away. That is not great. I'm playing this on an ergonomic keyboard because I don't play this kind of game very often, especially not on PC. So H is on the wrong side of the keyboard for me. <laughs> oh well, it's not not a button I need in uh, in combat, so I don't think I need to rebind it. Um, this looks very different. Grunt looks good. Coloring, I'm not too sure about. The original was much redder. It looked very gloomy and oppressive because of that. I do like the more. ME3 like UI. It's a bit more obvious than the stuff in the corner that we had before. Of course, since I am um, adept, I'm not going to be able to uh, um, to regenerate my health in this game. Yep, I still know how to shoot a gun. Um, they did change the, the controls around, because in the original, shift was sprint and space was the, was, uh, whatever this is called. And now it's the other way around, which is, uh, like the way Mass Effect 2 and 3 do it. I would always change the controls around anyway when I played the first game to make them more, especially since I have, like, 500 hours in the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, so I was very used to the original controls. Why is there smoke over there? I guess the Geth actually uh, attacked a much wider area than the bit we see. And there's also a dedicated melee button now, which is good! I hated the way melee worked in the, or in the original. Just doing it automatically and then you can't shoot when somebody's too close. Um... I want to see if I have points. Alright, squad screen lets you view your team silence. Yeah, I know how this works. Um, already got some Paragon points. Got some XP. I guess we only have 30 levels now. I'm very curious to see how that's going to work. I do have 3 points. Which I guess does is more than it normally would be. Um, I guess we'll find out. Because I don't... I've, I, A, I've never played it. For, I haven't played it for a very long time, and I've never played Adept before. I don't know exactly how to spec. I do know that Singularity is awesome in this game. Biotics in general are awesome in this game. Um, so I probably want to unlock that pretty soon, so I'll have to put some points in the throw. Lift's pretty good too, so I'll have to put points into throw for that. I think I, mean, I need to put them into warp for singularity. Barrier. I mean, everything's good. Stasis is kind of pointless, I think. Uh, gotta do basic armor and pistols, of course, but uh, I'm gonna do charm. <laughs> I've learned the hard way from my let's play that you always max this out. Because I missed that one point on Pharos in the let's play. Um, let's see, Kaden. First aid is always good. And let's give you a barrier. And there's no point in leveling up Jenkins, so it won't. Alrighty. Let's get going. These falling ashes, I'm guessing they are, stand out way more with the the lighter coloring. 
Wait, can't you like... Yes, other u weapons are actually useful now for other classes, so... You all know I like sh oh. And I'll read it. You all know I like sniping. I forgot how loud the guns are in this game. That always makes mixing the audio very fun for me. Shotgun could be useful against Gef, I guess. Once you start putting points in the pistols, it might not make that much of a difference, though. And you can run faster outside of combat, which is nice. There's actually a crate here. I think I did not know that when I did the Let's Play. Alright, I think you can actually... No, I need uh, armor upgrades. Where's armor? There. I think you can actually, like, mark stuff as junk in here now. To make it easier to get rid of. I'm not sure how useful that's going to be, because I usually had, like, two levels of junk. I had junk that's too cheap to sell, and I would want to turn it into Omnigel. And junk that I would want to sell. So, we'll see how useful that is. Water looks pretty nice. I mean, it's obviously still an old game, but they did a pretty good job, I have to say. I completely forget where I'm going. Um, over here, I guess. Am I going over here? No. No, I'm not. I'm going over here. That's maybe something that I will not do as much of. Like, listen to side conversations, because, you know, that takes a lot of time. Leroy Jenkins. Um, don't know where to go in the cover. I thought that was supposed to be more reliable, getting into cover. Uh, sabotage is good. Wait, I wanted to do it on him. There we go. I like that uh, the first encounter you have, you have to do without one of your squad mates. Why are you standing there? Jenkins, that's what the L stands for. It stands for Leroy. Um, kind of forgot he was playing a cover shooter, I guess. Proper service once the mission is complete, but I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. My journal updated. Continue to the side. All right. No. I haven't played this game without um, you know having a level bonus from having played it before uh, either for a while. I think if you play on uh, Insanity, this is like one of the few... Wait, we're going that way. This is one of the few encounters where the enemies are actually different. They're like a different type of drone. I think for all, like most of the drones you see. Metagels needed to heal. Uh, Omnigel can be used to bypass encryption. Electronic challenges both can be acquired by defeating enemies and opening containers. Yes, yes, I know that. There's V to use Metagel. I don't want to right now because I'm not that hurt. Okay, I remember this being much easier to snap to an enemy.
Where's the other one? There you are. Why can I not fire? I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. I don't like that it doesn't tell you the keyboard shortcuts, and I did not level up, so I don't really know why it told me that in anyway. Like it still auto covers. It does not you don't need to press space the way you do in the later games. Lose left shift to order it. Use Z attack your target. Q or E has specific checkmate move to point to attack the targeted enemy. C regroup and follow you. Go over there. There's no way that can go wrong. So I guess Z is attack target. Yeah. All right. Okay, you're gonna get yourself killed doing that. Or not. Works for me. Wait, is there something over there? Yes. Definitely don't remember where all of this stuff is. It's gonna be med. Oh, F used to be meta gel. Uh, I think it's V now. Yep, that did give me an extra meta gel. That's nice. Looking around for stuff is always the most important. And I got turned around again. Fire hurts you. Just just, just wanted to make sure. Um, actually hurts your, your health, not your shields. I think we're going to run into Ashley soon. Uh, I should probably be running. Or did I get turned around again? Yes! What the... Why... Why am I so bad at this all of a sudden? Oh, I'm fatigued. Sorry about this! Just going completely the wrong way. Don't remember having that problem. There we go. Gaff noises, I love gaff noises. Um, I need cover. Wait, let me try something. Ah, I'm not used to the fire rate of this thing. But it does work, so that's nice. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could. Until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the Beacon. 
The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. I don't think you can actually tell her to stay here. She insists and then comes with you anyway. And then Captain Anderson asks her to join a crew and you can't get rid of her. Uh, not that I want to. I mean, you can get rid of her. Just later in the game. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the Beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. This is the same, isn't it? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. It's not like I'm, uh, not carrying enough firepower for that, but, you know. Move up! All right. I know. Maybe I shouldn't have turned. Uh, well, it's helpful that it told me told me the key to press too. Um, to hide my weapons. Uh, to put my weapons away. I said hide because it's an H. All right. Let's see. Let's give her a point of an assault rifles. And point and soldier. There we go. Wait. <laughs> Her image was not here. That was, uh, strange. It's got a spam call. I think it's a spam call. I don't usually get. Don't know anybody in Pennsylvania, so I think it's a spam call. Um. All right. I was like, isn't there a crate near Ashley? There is. I do remember some things. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. I'm sure I'll head in the wrong direction again before I get there. Phasic rounds and chemical rounds. And Scorpion 1 armor. I remember Scorpion being good, so I'll take that. Yep, that's better. My armor is not better than anything anybody else has, right? No. I will not make the mistake again of giving Ashley's armor to Caden, because you never let me live that down in the comments. Um. Alright, and I got... Um. Phasic rounds. Are good against Geth. And actually, you can have the chemical rounds. I really like this whole introduction sequence. Like, it's very, like, the game doesn't start you off in immediate action. It's just. Poor guy. It's gonna turn into a Geth. If I have into a husk. Doesn't start you out with immediate action, starts you out with a lot of, like. Um. Okay. 
Sure. Oh. Now you're telling me that. This seems late, uh, like after five fights. Um, I don't see anybody. There you are. Does that work? It does. Oh yeah, grenades. The thing I always forget to use. Alright. That one horribly wrong. Well, that was a waste. Oh, he's... He stays behind there to force you, I guess. And then it still didn't work. Too bad I don't have Singularity yet. But I do a throw. Oh, that actually killed them. Wow. I just love the way this introduction like gives you a bunch of information. It doesn't isn't just action. Like I guess number two and three's intro is a more effective combat tutorial, but uh, this game definitely wins in terms of you know making it feel more like a sci-fi thing and building up the intrigue. I think if Mass Effect One had started the way Mass Effect Two did, I'm not sure if I would have ever really gotten into this. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. I'm assuming that's the quick save. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. That keeps popping up. Annoying as always. Um, at least it's fast, because the game's on an NVMe SSD, so. Alright, pistol, shotgun, shotgun. I guess I can actually give myself better weapons now. Less accuracy, but I think it's worth it. I mean, for the non trained weapons. It actually makes sense to try and do that now. I think in general Mass Effect 1 is the best game in the series. Uh, definitely from a story perspective. There's a lot of things Mass Effect 2 and 3 do well. Characters, the site missions, main story not so much. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh no. They've been injected with the COVID vaccine. They got the microchip and then they turned into get into husks. They turn into husks, and I may be joking about the COVID vaccine, but uh, get it if you don't haven't had it. Get the vaccine. We need people to take that. Where are you? Why can't I shoot? Oh, because I'm in the middle of a weapon changing animation. That's why. Nobody has anything. All right, that was too bad.
anyway, as I was saying, get the vaccine. I might have been joking on about the whole microchip thing. It's obviously nonsense. You should be getting the vaccine. You need to get out of this stupid pandemic. And if we don't reach herd immunity, it will only take longer. And you are putting people's lives at risk. If you don't. Trust me. S vaccine side effects can be bad, sure. But they're a hell of a lot better than actually getting this disease. Ooh, easy decryption. Um, it's unlocked object required encryption or electronics to access. If any squad member has the required challenge, you will be able to unlock the object using encryption or electronics interface or by spending Omnigel. Advance to the central core. Move the mouse to move around the ring. Okay, the mini game looks the same. That's going to be different because I am i don't have those talents, so I'm going to have to make sure that I have a squad member with me who does. I used to be good at this. This one was easy anyway. Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry. Close the door before they come back. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Manuel knows what's going on. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire. Screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there. Too afraid to move. Until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him. The prophet. Leader of the enemy. He was here. Before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awaken the beast! Unleashed the darkness! Manuel, please. This isn't the time. He's kind of wrong there, because the beacon itself isn't really evil. Well, I guess it's gonna lead Sovereign to the conduit, so... In some sense, I guess he's right. Without that beacon, the Reapers would have just been stuck, I suppose. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Manuel has seen the ending of Mass Effect 3. That's what he's talking about. Um, this punches him, as I know. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Actually, you know, I have some opinions about the ending of Mass Effect 3. These are not containers, apparently. Um... That are a bit different from how I saw it when it actually happened. I think there are containers in here. Ooh, an Omni tool, which I do not need myself. I need biotic amps now. And a shotgun. Just Omni gel. 
and crap. And that's it, I guess. What are you two doing? Uh, I guess... No. Uh, I did, yeah, I did level up. Yeah, and I got six points. So yeah, they just give you more points with fewer levels. So I guess you have to do this less often. But other than that, it's basically the same. Um, so... Basic armor is good. And throw. And... Warp and barrier, because this game does not have combined cooldowns. It's better to spread out the points and get more powers. Give you a point in throw. Oh, he has description, that's why, that's right, so. Sabotage. And this is electronic skill. So that's what I'm gonna have to watch for. I can use Caden, and I think Garrus and Tali also have these skills. Who are much more interesting companions than Caden, so. Um, I never really know what to do with, uh, the combat skills, so I tend to just kind of spread it out. Um, uh, that's not working. I guess that only works on me. Alrighty. And I got something. I got a an Omni tool. Grenades. I only have an amp. He has an Omni tool. Which gives a big tech cooldown bonus, but it's worse on everything else. Eh. I think the other two are a bit more important for me right now. Am I going in the right direction? You know what I should be doing? should be setting a flag there. So, and then I can tell that I'm not going in the right direction because it wasn't. They decreased the sprint speed, didn't they? Sarah? This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. That's a loud gunshot. And again, the ga the the guns in this game are allowed. What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. I can't see it through the lens flare. Goodbye, Sauron. See you soon. I guess it does stand out a little bit more with that with the, the color changes, so that's good. I think I actually want to take the low road. Eh, I think it didn't matter. Why can't I target anything? Oh, 
Nothing that really hurt anybody. Useful. Did I just hurt myself with my own grenade? You stuck there. I think he's stuck there. Fine, we'll do it that way. Where's the last guy? Gotta be here somewhere. Oh, there he's he's hidden. All right. Ooh, malfunctioning object, which of course contains stuff. That makes sense, right? I think this game now also has headshot damage, which it didn't used to before. So that's going to be interesting. Where's my green card? Oh, it's in the bottom left of the screen. All right. Kind of weird that that's so far away from the rest of the HUD. And I got a new one. Or an extra one, anyway. Oh, okay. I think I need to not touch the mouse because it's controlling this. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? I don't think the original did that, but here it seemed like when I was moving the mouse it was stopping the keyboard from working. It was hard to hold the mouse exactly still. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were That's relative. All around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Yeah, I'm betting no. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. Indoctrination, as we now know. Which I guess got to Manuel. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. Yeah, Blake. Wait, what? You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. I think you do have to have at least some points. I don't know if you need all three points in, to, in Charm to do this. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was going to sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? 
He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. All right, I got a combat sensor and a Stinger two pistol. Um, oh, that's a good one. And I can put the combat sensor on there. Not that I, we, I think we get any jamming in this mission. I'm not, I'm not sure. So I think, how do you mark stuff as junk? Oh, it's this, isn't it? Yeah. Because these are all pretty... Well, edge is, I guess, useful if somebody else uses pistols. So maybe I shouldn't mark that as junk yet. We're learning this all over again. I think I got an assault rifle too. Yeah. Well, that's probably worth it. Wait. It's higher, but it's still four. Sure. Caden's primary weapon is also an assault rifle, is it? I'm not sure. Or is it a pistol? can't tell anymore because normally it would say untrained and you know now it doesn't um, maybe I need to check it doesn't have points I think besides the soldier ones they don't have. I think it's a pistol though so I think we can give him the the edge pistol and then this one we can mark as junk. All right. Um, learning this all over again. Looking for stuff. It's not like I remember where any of it is. That was the mantra of the old Let's Play, and it shall be the mantra of the new Let's Play-like thing. Alrighty. No. The answer is no. Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Of course, when um, Manuel was talking about having seen a Turian, he was talking about Saren. And also when Saren and Nihilus were talking, we get the first instance of um, Saren's theme, which is also the death music of this game. Which I always liked. It's a nice touch. Makes you hate that music. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform, probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was in trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... 
I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Laziness saves the day. Knew it would pay off sometime. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next, those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. Doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. It's the same investigate. A lot of Marines <laughs> died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. It's funny how he talks this up and then it's usually just a, like a crap grenade upgrade. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Yes, so valuable. High explosive one. It was high explosive ten, then we talk. Still, I'll take it. Alright, and we got more enemies. Oh, well, you're just showed up out of nowhere. Um, I don't think I need a sniper for somebody who's right here. I played all three games on Insanity, and th this game in particular is its just kind of boring almost. <laughs> it's hard, but it's only hard because enemies take a long time to kill. And pretty much every enemy um, has some form of protection, which for the, the uh, organic enemies usually means that it's... Uh, This is kind of in the way. I guess they want me to go this way. Um, yes, I know. Like, for the human enemies, usually means they have immunity, which is an annoying power, because it basically means you almost kill them, and then they use that, and they're back to full health and take less damage. I think they changed how immunity works a little bit in this game, so it might be different now.
Is that going to work at this distance? Might be too far away. We'll give it a try. Oh no, it worked. This game is the best one for sniping, that's for sure. All of the environments in the later games are kind of small, so you can't snipe very well. I got nothing. Here, let's have him give his barrier. You know what I'm completely forgetting? I have quick slots. Um, I like to have my defensive talons on the higher numbers. Let's use barrier. Not because I have to, but because why not? That was a mistake. That was a miss. Anyway, with immunity, like, yeah, they, they basically just recover from back to full health. It's very annoying. It makes t fights take like twice as long. Maybe even more than twice as long. And it basically makes biotics the most overpowered power in the whole game because biotics can prevent you from like if, if an enemy's lifted they can't use their powers which makes it incredibly useful so that might still hold true even at the lower difficulty levels this because of, there's also so many enemies that rush you, Biotics is just very, very powerful. Like, the first time I played this game, I always had Ashley with me because I thought, like, oh, she's combat, so she's gonna be strong. Should've always brought Liara. Because, honestly, Singularity is the most OP move you have in this game. In the original, anyway, they tweaked some stuff here, so... Don't know if that is still the case. And off we go. Saren's phase looks good. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Ooh, bomb duty. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. That we do. Um, they are not on the map. Um, Isn't there another one here, right here? No, it's upstairs. All right. Uh, I don't remember that one being there. Maybe they put it here to make it clearer what you're supposed to be doing. I'm getting the impression that... Uh, My throw ability does not work from this distance. Shield boost. Just taking care of the charges first. 
Oh, well, you have way more time. Did you only have two minutes in the original? That's what I remember. No, that one. My squad mates aren't doing well with this rush in to get the bombs strategy. Um, I swear you had less time in the original. Or maybe that's only on insanity? I don't remember. Bombs look a lot better. Where's the last one? Over that way? I thought the last one was down there. Did they change the placement of these? It's entirely possible. Oh no, it is down there. Alright, alright. I guess that's... I don't know what that's pointing at. Um... Uh, Great. No, on the enemy. I swear this used to be easier. I like how the Geth still got poisoned from chemical rounds, even though they're not organic. Like, how does that work? All right, this is the last one. Well in time. I think that's maybe my objective that that's pointing to. Or is that just north? No, I think north's there. I don't know. Mass Effect 2 and 3 are very different on insanity. They're more genuinely harder, especially 2, because the protection of the enemies changes. Like enemies that would not have shield or armor before now do, which really changes your tactics. So it doesn't insanity much better than one does, which just makes enemies harder to kill. Like take them, take more shots. Like even low level enemies would take like five shots with the highest sniper rifle in the game, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, I wonder if they changed that at all. Um, what did I get? Armor, right? Yeah, Scorpion's the best. And I guess... Oh, I got heavy armor. I don't think this is better for him now. And she can't wear heavy armor yet, because I uh, need points for that. That assault rifle isn't useful either. Primarily, I'll be using pistol and snipers. Alright, if I remember right, there's gonna be more Gef here. Uh, more husks. Well, I keep saying Gef when I mean husks. There's gonna be more Gef too, but that's besides the point. Let's do something with that. Uh, oh, actually, I want to use my pu push on the... Husks. That's more useful. There you are. Throw. I keep calling it push. A Effect 3 on Insanity honestly just wasn't hard, mainly because I was used to the... to the... multiplayer, which is so much harder than the single player, even on Insanity. Like the... Multiplayer really tries to make a big. Sorry, the single player makes like makes a big a big deal out of like, oh, there's two phantoms, you're in trouble now, or even just one phantom, and then the multiplayer is like, here's four. Alrighty, we got some containers here, which I want to get before. Okay, I really cannot touch the mouse. 
I can easily let go of it, because if I even move it slightly, it messes me up. Maybe it's easier to do with a mouse? Could try it, I guess. Didn't really look at what I got. Uh, I guess it's nice I can see new stuff, because it's not marked as junk. Shotguns, I don't really have any for anybody to give that to right now. I'll keep him in case. This isn't worth it. Wait, what are new upgrades? No. No. Alright, whatever. Let's try it with the mouse. How do I go forward? I don't know how to go forward with the mouse. Maybe I need to click? It's kind of annoying, honestly. It is much faster to move, though. These were weapon upgrades. Ah, it doesn't really matter right now, does it? Because I'm going to go to the Citadel next. So we won't have to fight for a while, and we'll probably have better stuff and higher levels and whatever. By the time we do, I need to not get close to the beacon. You can... See this, yeah. It's like someone dropped a bomb. That must be where the Geth ship landed. I guess, uh, yep. Fusion exhaust, still an effective weapon. It's kind of funny that they made space sprinting and use the way Mass Effect 3 works, even though everybody hated the one button to rule them all thing in Mass Effect 3. Um, I swear there was another thing here. Yes, there is. More weapon upgrades. I never really minded it, honestly. I mean, I guess the fact that it also rolled sometimes meant you it made it hard to get into cover. Uh, which isn't the problem here. I never minded it that much, to be honest. I think I got everything. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. First time you see that, it's really not very clear, is it? I guess it's not supposed to be. Gotta get the cipher and Liara's help. High resolution sovereign. Identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Saren has a temper problem. Venezia looks like she's used to it. And again, I think Benezia is probably more powerful than Saren anyway, so no reason to be scared of him. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas? 
I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. It was definitely your fault, but still. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. <laughs> I always found this kind of funny because the first time you're playing this, I don't know what happened. How am I supposed to answer this? Now I do know, of course. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction, nothing's really clear. Hmm, I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. I think Ashley meets you here if you're Mill Shepard. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Well, uh, Jenkins was definitely his own fault. It's his fault for being called Jenkins. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Actually, if you like, there, I think you have to recruit Ashley. You have to recruit um, Liara because you need her to de decipher the vision. Um, you can uh, not recruit Garrison Rex. Tolly, I'm not sure about. I mean, I would always recruit every squad member anyway. But there's no way to get rid of Ashley because uh, there's no option here. If you say that's a mistake, I think. Anderson's just like, well, it's my decision. I'm not, you're not the captain of the ship. Yet, anyway. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. No, I don't really see how Intel could have known about anything that's about to happen. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Yeah, Anderson has a long history with Saren from one of the novels. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? It's again, like, I don't know. 
If you've never never played this before. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the council, Shepard. Because I sure couldn't make that out um, in the brief snippet of the vision you could see this time. Even with the full vision, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Sarah took it. But I know Sarah. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. Yes, they'll, they'll be very useful, I'm sure. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right. We finished Eden Prime. We're back on the Normandy. I think this is probably a good place to stop. I don't know, I'm enjoying this, so I might record more, in which case um, I'll see you in the next video. Or not. I guess we'll find out. <laughs>